Hey there, Julie Stonefelt here, coming to you from my homestead in the Snoqualmie Valley of Washington State. Today I'm going to talk to you about stock tanks, what they are, why I'm using them for my raised beds. So we are in my garden here and I have 13 stock tanks. And what a stock tank is, is they are normally used as a watering trough for livestock. So a tank for water for livestock, stock tank. They come in lots of different shapes and sizes. The ones that I have, I've got 13 of them here. They are four feet long, two feet wide, and two feet tall. And the reason that I went with this size is because of the shape of my land. So right over there is my house, and right over on the other side, maybe you can see it, is my septic mound and I've got a really sloped piece of land. And this was really the only place I could put in a sizable garden. But because it's so close to my septic mound, I couldn't really put beds in the ground. And as I've mentioned before, my land is mostly glacial till, which is just a giant pile of rocks. And it's really good at growing rocks, not really good at growing anything else. So the stock tanks provide a complete container that allows me to control the medium in them and to grow vegetables without having to worry about any other issues around me, either that's gonna affect the garden plots themselves or is gonna affect my septic mound and drainage field. And these, um, I've done some modifications to. As you can tell, they're not full yet. This is all a big experiment, um, a work in progress. But what I really like about these is they're a nice height. They've got a nice rounded edge and um, they're pretty to look at. So, you know, even a country girl has to have a little bling. Now this copper didn't come on the tanks. I added this copper tape to help with slugs. And in a future video, I'll talk about all of the things I'm doing to prevent pests in my garden. But let's take a look inside the tank. So here you can see um, I've got these pipes. And these pipes are um, a black PVC. I've got four of them. And um, what they're gonna be used for is to help me make modifications throughout the growing season to each individual tank. So I can put um, a hoop over these and then I can put plastic sheeting, which is gonna be great for things like tomatoes that you don't want water to get on their leaves, um, making little greenhouses for starting earlier in the season. Um, I can also do sort of a reme or a shade cloth so I could grow lettuce in the summertime. And I could even do a netting, depending on what I've got, if it's going to be appealing to birds. So I put those in right away to give me some flexibility. I can also pour water through them because what I've done in the bottom of my tank might be a little hard to see, but you can see there's some cloth. And that is a ground cloth that's separating a layer of drainage rock from the soil. And I've got a nice big thick layer of um, good garden soil that I did another video on um, that came from Pine Creek Nursery in Sultan, Washington. Love them, love their product. Then what I'm gonna do on top of here is um, a raised bed mix that we'll talk about in another video um, as well. So you can also see possibly these um, straps, the strapping, and then I did a, um, oh my goodness, what do you call it? an epoxy putty to attach these. That's potable for water. So it keeps these in place without moving too much. So the, um, the other benefit of stock tanks, I should say, is that they keep the soil warmer for a longer period of time, especially these metal tanks. So there's lots of different types of raised beds you can do. I went with the stock tanks because I really like the way they look and I like the functionality for me in my particular needs in this garden. And there you go. That is a stock tank and why I'm using them for raised beds. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay well.